This one's pretty magnificent. Let's pull this thing on out. Mwah, if you're a fan of hot, fresh pizza from your famous pizzeria, you know there's nothing better. But what if? it was possible to have that nice hot fresh pizza at home whenever you wanted without having to leave the house. Sounds pretty amazing, doesn't it? And with that being said, today we have the Mimiuo. Mimio, Mimiuo, I don't know how it is, but all I know is we got a pizza oven kit right here that's gonna allow you to basically turn your standard range, your grill, whatever heat source you have into a pizza oven right at home or you know if you're camping you can do it out there too so what this is is basically a stainless steel pizza oven although it doesn't have its own heat source you're gonna put it on top of your gas range unfortunately i don't have a gas range but i do have an electric stove that i definitely know gets hot enough so i'm gonna put that to the test plus i'm going camping soon so i might just take it camping with me and make some pizza out in the wilderness because who doesn't like some hot fresh pizzeria pizza in the middle of the trees so this is actually a pretty cool design product and it's a lot cheaper than getting an actual pizza oven although to be honest maybe that's the way to go pizza oven but you got to spend the money with this one it's a fraction of the price and you just use what you already have so this is actually made by only fire which is a different sort of only f thing and you know what that would be a website i would actually subscribe to only fire fresh pizzas every day hmm, if i did that would you guys subscribe do you guys want to see a fresh pizza every so often maybe right so basically how this works is it's an enclosed stainless steel oven i've seen two different models of this this happens to be the six inch tall one there's also a three inch tall one in my mind i was like yo it makes more sense to have six inches of space to maneuver pizzas around in there plus if you want some really deep crust or something that's the way to go but also in my mind i'm like a three inch one means the heat's trapped in a smaller area so it should cook it a little bit faster maybe i'm not sure if that's true but it makes sense to me with that being said the way that this works is basically the same as a pizza stone which i pretty much mastered already was able to get really good results with it but i wanted to step it up a notch to see if this actually made it better so it has a pizza stone inside about 13 inches big and they recommend a 12 inch pizza and it actually cooks the same as a pizza stone although in this case it traps in the heat in this small enclosed environment cooking the top of the pizza as it cooks the bottom at the same time pretty awesome right just like a pizza oven. This is rated to go up to a thousand degrees, which is like the perfect pizza cooking temperature. And it's supposed to be able to hit that temperature in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what you're heating it with. And taking that even further, it should be able to cook an artisan style pizza in about 60 seconds at that temperature. Bruh. Only fire up in here. I am so excited to take my pizza making up to the next level with this kit. Hopefully it works as I'm expecting, otherwise I'm gonna be severely disappointed and cry myself to sleep every night with no fresh pizza. Although I guess I'll still have fresh pizza from my pizza stone, but I just wanna be able to do it with this thing. It sounds amazing. Inside the box, I have a bit of a user guide. We have a stainless steel pizza pill, although it doesn't have the handle attached to it yet, so it looks like we have to set that up. Here we go. Oh, this is a big boy. Ooh. We got the actual pizza oven right here. Oh no, there's broken styrofoam everywhere. We have a thermometer so you can keep track of that temperature. Try not to make a mess with all this broken styrofoam. I hate styrofoam, it just gets everywhere and sticks to everything, including pizza. And then right here we actually have the handle for the pizza peel, wooden design. Bro, you got styrofoam everywhere, man. And then right here we have that 13 inch pizza stone. Good thing it was protected with the styrofoam, I guess. You know, I'm gonna be cleaning up styrofoam in here for days, but pizza stone looking very nice. Yep, nice and hard. Has some Mimuo branding on it. Very cool, very nice, good size. I already have a wooden pizza peel, although it is hard to get the pizza out of the oven. It's easy to get it in, but with this one, it's a lot thinner, so you can easily slide right underneath of it and grab it out of that heat, because this thing's gonna get hot. Now look at that, I'm already looking like a professional pizzeria, dude. And then, We got the actual pizza oven here and, wait, I'm pretty sure this is upside down. We do have a hole on the bottom to wrap around the grill or the range, whatever you're using. And then up here is the actual oven, fully assembled. Oh, that's nice, the handles actually pop up so you can use it. That's very cool. Pull back down. Now remember, 
keep in mind this is solid steel it's gonna be hot even when you turn off the heat the whole thing i mean it's metal you can probably figure that out by yourself but just don't touch it it takes at least an hour to cool down so just leave it there but i mean this feels solid as you can see we have six inches of space right here is that even six inches it looks a little smaller so i wonder how small the three inch one was jeez i don't know so this is probably the perfect size right here to be honest and we have a little platform inside so we can actually stick in the pizza stone and it's removable so you can take it out to clean so this is, oh okay once it's in there you have to like tip this over to get it out it's it's in there so it's in there <laughs> very nice and then we got the uh, <laughs> pizza pill slide it in mm. pizza's ready <laughs> I'm so excited about this! Now, being that this is stainless steel, there are some scratches and stuff in the actual metal. Although, you know, it's not going to hinder use and it is probably going to get damaged after using this for a while. So it's not a big deal. But it does look very nice. Like this? This looks very nice! It's like literally a mini pizza oven right here. Look at that. Wow! Like you can just put this on a charcoal grill, a gas grill, gr glass, grass, glass, pfft, gas range and with that hole on the bottom i'm not sure i could actually use this on an electric range i mean i'm sure it'll heat up but maybe it'll just be a lot slower but since it wraps around i'm not sure i mean i guess we'll find out though i'm sure it'll heat up it has to it's basically like putting a pan on there but does it have to come into complete contact no it gets hot over it i guess we'll find out that's the beauty of this i'm gonna find out for you guys wow well, i'm really excited to get started oh yeah i forgot we have this temperature gauge this thing looks like it's in a burn. Don't stick your hand in while this is on. You'll regret that instantly. Temperature goes up to a thousand degrees. I wonder if we can actually get it that hot. Gotta twist the actual temperature gauge. I mean, not the best fit and finish, but I mean, I mean, I'm sure it'll tell us the temperature. It's crooked. Why is it crooked? <laughs> I don't know, but it's working, so I'm gonna take this to the kitchen, see if I can get it to work on an electric stove, and then maybe even take it camping and see how that works. Fingers crossed, guys, I'm ready to make some pizza. All right, guys, it is officially pizza time, and a little bit of a disclaimer here. This isn't my first time using this because I've already used it for probably like a couple months now, but you know, got the vid and came down and you know, couldn't finish it, but I still made pizza and I've pretty much mastered it. That's the great part about this. So right here, inside of this bowl, I have my magnificent dough that's been proofing in the refrigerator for about 72 hours. That's gonna get you some really tasty pizza. Now to be fair, this isn't gonna be a tutorial on how to make pizza. We're just gonna be trying out this me, me, you, oh. I still can't pronounce the name, but we're gonna try out this pizza oven for like the 80th time. And I'm really excited because it's always pizza time in this house. So I've pretty much mastered using this oven as well as baking pizzas in general. And right now it is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So in about 10 minutes or so, it'll be maxed out at about 500, which is pretty much as hot as I can get it on this electric stove. But to be fair, I feel like that's actually the perfect temperature because these pizzas turn out so so good like i don't even want to get a pizza anywhere else ever again that's how good they are and i can feel that heat coming out oh it's definitely getting hot in there so the first thing we got to do is flour up our work surface you know any flour will do just you know just a little bit just enough so it doesn't stick pop out this amazing magnificent dough of mine we're gonna just drop it on the floured surface get some flour on the top you know because it's a very sticky dough here. Oh, oh, wow. I mean, seriously, come take a look at this dough. Look at this amazing dough. Look at that. So, ooh, so nice. I just can't handle myself in here. Okay, so now we're just gonna shape up our dough, get a little edging, pop any bubbles that come up, because those bubbles are gonna burn if they're too big it over continue on oh like this dough just feels so amazing it's so soft this is gonna be an amazing pizza pie we can start stretching it out a bit more this can support roughly a 13 inch pizza so you can't go too big but you know 13 is definitely a good size
Now when I make pizzas, I like to have a pretty thin crust. Now I'm not thin like a cracker or anything where it's gonna be just like a chip, but you know, very thin like New York style. Look at this magnificent dough. Looks like we pretty much have our pie shaped up. This is, how big is this gonna be? And we can actually get a little bit bigger. We got the dough ready. Now we gotta top this thing how we like it. So we're gonna put some sauce up here. Not too much, I feel like that might be too much. We're gonna spread it out a bit, get it nice and even layered. Now I get it really close to the edges of the crust, sometimes even going over a little bit. Magnificent, that's a lot of sauce, but you know, it's gonna taste amazing. Oh man, I'm ready for this one. We're gonna start seasoning a bit with some oregano, get it all on there, looking good. Get a little garlic in here, you know, why not? Throw some basil on here, we can't forget that. Now the good thing about making pizza at home, you can make it exactly how you want it, put whatever you want on it, no one's gonna judge you. And then we're gonna douse it with some Parmesan cheese, oh yeah. This right here is gonna give us some New York vibes. Oh, look at that, looking amazing. And now of course, the mozzarella. It's best to start on the outside because you don't wanna have too much cheese going on in the middle, so you work your way in. A good rule of thumb is if you're like, that doesn't look like quite enough cheese, it's probably enough cheese. But you know, it's your pizza, you can put as much cheese as you want. And to be fair, I kind of like it a lot of cheese, yeah. Just dump it all on there. Oh boy, this is looking good. Next, I like to throw a bit of Italian seasoning on here. Give it some Italian vibes, Italiano! I mean, that's where pizza's from after all. And then we're gonna load this thing up with some pepperonis. Oh boy, these are some nice pepperonis too. Oh man, this is looking good. Look at this amazing pizza pie. Now as far as getting the pizza from here into the oven, I have my own way of doing it. I like to start off with a wooden pill, get it loaded up with some cornmeal to make sure it doesn't stick. You don't need too much, but depending on how sticky your dough is, you might need a little bit more. This should get the job done. You have to carefully move this pizza onto this peel. Now I'm not gonna lie, I kind of messed up. I usually build the pizza on this peel, but this time it slipped my mind, so I gotta try to and then right before we put it in the oven, get some olive oil on top, and we're ready to go. Make sure it's not sticking, and then let's load it up on the inside. And there we go. Let's watch it cook. It's been about two minutes. Let's go in for our first turn. I like to get it closer to the back because that's where all the heat is. Going for another turn. The back's probably cooking a lot. It's probably getting burnt a little bit because that's where the heat is. Ah, oh, it's very hot. Ow. is looking good. Let's turn it around. See that? Got a little bit of burn, but I like my pizzas well done. That's what's great about making your own. You can make it as well done as you want, as raw as you want. And don't do it raw, that's gonna be disgusting. But wow, this pizza's looking amazing! All right, guys, it's been roughly five minutes or so, and the pizza, oh, it should be done. Oh, bro, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, amazing. Let's dump this back onto the wooden peel. Oh man, look at that sizzle. Oh, the pepperoni, the cheese, the crust, nice and crispy. Oh, let's look at that bottom. Oh, look at that bottom. Other than the part that stuck a little bit for some reason, that, that's looking great. Wow. Now I got my trusty pizza cutter. Let's get this nice and sliced. Oh, you hear that crunch. Oh, wow, look at this pizza. You can cut into four big slices, eight smaller slices. I'm gonna just leave it at four right now. Then we could actually enjoy this like it's meant to be enjoyed. But now let's take a look at this. Oh, 
bro look at this pizza that crust perfection oh bro oh let me i gotta take a bite right now see this that's a bad idea it's really hot but it's looking amazing i let this pizza cool down for a couple minutes it's still hot but i'm ready look at that oh This tastes like a slice right out of New York. Every time. I never cease to amaze myself with this pizza game. Mm, even a crust. Mm, perfection. Bruh. It's fire. All right, y'all, coming back at you with a bonus pie for y'all. You didn't see this coming, but this one's pretty magnificent. Let's pull this thing on out. It should be just about done. And oh boy, would you look at that? We gotta load it up. We got some pork on this side, some serrano peppers, pepperoni, onions, olives. We got it loaded up. Crust is looking amazing. Let's take a look on the bottom. Oh, oh it's hot, but it looks pretty great. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, so hot. Let me just drop it back onto the peel. Oh man. This might be the best one. Yeah, it's the first time I loaded up with more than pepperoni. It's looking so good. And now we gotta cut this nice pizza pie. Let's see if I can do this right, because we got half and half over here. Oh yeah, nice crunch action. Oh man, this is looking fabulous. Like this, this one, it's on a whole other level. Pick up one of these slices. Oh, perfection right here. Look at this crust, amazing. Look at the toppings, amazing. Let's take a look at this side. Oh, look at that. So hot, so steamy, perfect crust. This right here is a pizza. You gonna take a first bite? Oh man, it's really hot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Dude. It's really good. Wow. That's good. All right, y'all, we are back. It's actually been about a month now since I got this pizza oven, and oh boy, all I could say is best pizza I've ever had from anywhere in my entire life. Now, it might be, you know, feeling myself a little bit but I don't know that pizza was spectacular everyone else thinks it's the best pizza they've ever had too now granted it's probably just the recipe and everything you know you could probably make it in the oven on a pizza stone but even if the pizza oven doesn't necessarily make it taste any different which I don't know it might might not it's actually a lot more fun it makes you feel like you're in a pizzeria because you're going in there you're scooping it out and you're getting that hot fresh pizza that has a nice crisp with the nice char on it and it's really awesome actually granted this whole setup isn't perfect now the pizza oven itself pretty perfect I, I have no problems with it but the pizza pill that it came with I don't like it one bit and I already got rid of it and got myself a new one that's a lot more heavy duty and it works a lot better the problem with the one that came with this set is for some reason the handle you're supposed to be able to fold it but the only way I could get it to fold in was if I loosened it and then it, you had to tighten it back up and sometimes you needed a screwdriver because it got stuck and then sometimes it was loose and the whole thing fell off it was a nightmare I didn't like it so I got one that easily just folds up and unfolds and it's a lot more easier I definitely recommend you pick up a quality one because the one that it came with no bueno now as far as the pizza oven itself go I used it in a variety of ways although technically not the way that it was recommended to be used yet because I don't have any access to a gas stove so the first one I used was a standard old-school coiled up electric stove and that one actually surprisingly worked very well granted the temperature gauge on the top maxed out at 500 degrees even after an hour's worth of time and it only takes about 10 minutes supposedly on a gas range now even though it was only maxed out at 500 when I used my infrared thermometer inside the back got upwards of 900 degrees so it was definitely hot enough in there to make a pizza so I was able to make some amazing pizzas on an electric coil stove because it got about 700 degrees around the middle but it was definitely hot enough and you just have to rotate it and you're good to go just put it in the back flip it around after about two minutes put it back in and you're 
really getting some amazing pizza and it's just like you're cooking in a wood fire oven. Next, I actually tried it on a tempered glass top stove at my friend's house and that one, even though it did get really hot really fast for the actual stove, I guess because it's flat and it doesn't have the coils that are going up inside that little opening on the bottom of the pizza oven, it didn't get nearly as hot. It only maxed out at about 300 degrees and I was really disappointed in that. I was like, eh, I guess somehow the old school one worked better. But then he also had a gas grill. So he put it on the gas grill afterwards, but for some reason, even putting it on the gas grill, it only got up to about 350 degrees. So I'm not sure what was up with that. So it turns out using an electric coil stove is the best option if you don't have a gas range. Although it could have been the grill, I guess, but I mean, the fire was up there, it was coming up, it was really hot, so I'm not sure why it didn't get into the actual oven. Now, even with that being said, I was still able to cook the pizza in both of those scenarios. It just took a little bit longer, but the pizza turned out amazing and they loved it. <sighs> You're like, you don't know how many pizzas I made in the last month. It's crazy, I'm probably eating way too much pizza, but they're so good. So if you want a cheap way to imitate an actual pizza oven, this is probably the best way to go. I mean, you could probably even go as far as sticking it in your oven if you want to get it hot. But I mean, you know, a stove gets upwards of 1500 degrees, so that's obviously the best option. I just have it preheat on my electric coil stove for roughly 30 minutes and it's upwards of 500 degrees and it's ready to go. Very quick and efficient. Definitely not 10 minutes and I can't cook the pizza in one minute, but you know, it still works and that's a really good time. Because by the time I pull the pizza dough out of the refrigerator, let it warm up, spread it out, put the toppings on it, get it all ready, 30 minutes have gone by, and guess what? We're ready to cook. So I could definitely recommend this setup. It's, it's really amazing. I mean, I don't even crave getting a pizza from anywhere else ever again. It's that good. Now, if you want to order one of my pizzas, I guess you're out of luck unless you know me. Then you can come through and get one because I'm making pizzas all the time. It's kind of like my new thing. Keep posting them everywhere, and everyone's like, did you make that? How'd I get one? I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> But seriously, the pizzas taste amazing, the oven works great, and I can definitely recommend it if you want to get that pizza oven experience at your home on the Lolo. Okay.